Hello, and welcome to the ninth video in this Leak Crate and C Sharp series. In this video, we're going to be doing the challenge called Palindrome Number. So, let's go over to our leak code and let's get started. So, given an integer x, return true if x is a palindrome and false otherwise. So, 1, 2, 1 is a palindrome because it's the same backwards. Minus 1, 2, 1 is not a palindrome because if you reverse it, then the minus is on the other side. 10 is false because 0, 1. So I guess we can start off straight away with if x is less than 0, then we turn, turn false. Then we can do string str x equals x dot to string. Then we can do a for loop starting with the first character then going on to the last number, comparing them each along the way. If this equals this, then if this equals this, then if this equals this, so do something like that. So for int i equals zero, i is less than strx dot length divided by two, i plus plus. We can do if strx i does not equal strx strx dot length minus i return false then if it gets through that and it doesn't return false return true so let's try with the test cases index was outside the bounds of the array uh, this should be minus one minus i might need to do the same thing for this one, but we'll try without. Okay, those all worked. But I want to try with an even number because that's where I'm not most sure. So let's write zero one and run that. Okay, cool. They still worked. So let's submit and see if it's all good. Ah, well that was nice and quick. I think that's the first time where we haven't had any real problems with doing a challenge. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any new videos in this Lead Code and C Sharp series.